You picked a great day to be here at Kids Point Online. My name is Jesse, and we're here today to talk about creativity. So creativity is imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. God made each of us in His image, and He made us to be like Him. We can use the creativity He gave us to make a difference in the world around us. Speaking of creativity, let's play another creative game. I really love to be creative in the kitchen when I'm baking. So, two ingredients I use often are sugar and salt. They look a lot alike, but they taste really different, don't they? If you mix them up when you're baking, it could be a real problem. Actually, a lot of foods use sugar and salt, but you've got to have the perfect amount of each one to get the flavor just right. Okay, for this game, I'll name some foods someone might make, and I want you to vote if you think the recipe calls for more sugar or for more salt. If you think the recipe uses more sugar, stand on your right foot and raise your right hand, like, like this. <laughs> and if you think the recipe uses more salt, then stand on your left foot and raise your left hand. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. That was so fun. You all were really good at that game. Who knew that baking could be so creative? Speaking of creativity, Jesus always found really creative ways to teach people. And our story is about one of those times. But before we get to it, it's time to sing. So let's all stand up and worship God together.
to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Keisha Jones tied the strings of a large white apron carefully behind her back. She glanced at awe at the gleaming silver countertops and appliances in the kitchen of a cupcakery where her brother Robert worked. This is amazing. Yeah, pretty great Myers letting us use the mixer and stove. Pretty great, you're helping me. Keisha offered to bake cookies to raise funds for the new marching band uniforms. Even better, she convinced Robert to help her. He clipped the smudge recipe page over the counter. Brown butter and toffee chocolate chip cookies? Sounds weird. Trust me, they are the bomb. Robert worked evenings in a bakery for three years, so Keisha had to admit, he probably did know. She looked over the recipe. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt? Actually, we're quadrupling the recipe, so that's four teaspoons of salt. Robert tossed Keisha a set of measuring spoons. Cookies are supposed to be sweet. Won't the salt ruin them? Nope. Salt actually brings out the flavors. What does that even mean? You want to test it out? Fine. I'll make a batch with salt. You make one without. You're on. The siblings worked quickly as Robert showed Keisha how to mix dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately. What do we do now? Add the dry ingredients into the wet mix on low speed. Slowly, or you will make a flower storm all over this kitchen. I knew that. As Keisha worked, though she began to hear another sound over the mixer. Wow, rain's really coming down. Yeah, and this is such an old building that every time it storms, the power goes out. I can't see a thing. Robert fumbled with his phone until the flashlight came on. It always comes back on pretty fast. We can wait it out. Robert settled down on the floor, back against the cabinets. Keisha sighed and sat down too. She checked her phone. My battery's dying. Entertain me. What? You can't live without your phone? I don't know. Tell me a story. I was just thinking of one. About salt. Really? One that Jesus told. Ooh, that one. Sermon on the Mount. Well, it fits. You know, the cookies. Fine. Read it to me, preacher man. It's in Matthew. I know that. Robert settled in with his Bible app. Jesus saw the crowds, so he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Then he began to teach. And pretty quick he gets into this part. You are the salt of the earth. That's it? Well, no. I mean, then Jesus talks about throwing out the salt if it loses its saltiness. How do you even know if you're salty? I think it's like the cookies. Salt makes things taste better. And people who follow Jesus can make life taste better. Mmm, like chocolate chip cookies. Robert punched her lightly in the shoulder. You know what I mean. When we share God's story, we bring hope to others. We help to fill their lives with kindness and joy and peace. All that good stuff. Okay, okay, I get it. Salt, good. There's something about light too, right? Yep, 
Jesus says, you are the light of the world. People do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do and they will bring glory to your father who is in heaven. Keisha shifted trying to get comfortable on the hard floor. So when we follow Jesus, by showing God's love to others. When we do that, others can see God better and what to do. Like a bright light. Yikes! Robert leapt up to try to stop the mixer as the power came on. Keisha stood and stretched, blinking. Like a bright light. You planned that, huh? Of course. Well played. Hey, I'm gonna put salt in my batch of cookies after all. Well played. As Keisha measured the salt, she smiled. The cookies would have came out great, but she has some thinking to do about ways she can become salt and light herself. You and I can be salt and light. Just like salt makes food taste better, we can make other people's lives better because of God. We can shine the light of God's love when we treat others with love and kindness. And we can use our creativity to point others to Him. We can show people what a difference He has made in our lives and the way we live every single day. The one thing we are learning today is that God created you to share His story. Now let's look at our memory verse for this month. It comes from the book of Psalms. Lord, You are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. Psalm 145.3 Now let's pray and ask God to help us live His way. Dear Lord, we just thank you for creating us, creating us with a purpose, but also creating us to tell others about you, to share your story. Please help us do that. We ask this in the precious name of your Son, Jesus Christ. And everybody said, Amen. All right, kids, we'll see you next week. Bye.